In this cathedral-like space, we're actually more than 10 meters below sea level. This is an enormous building. Inside the world's biggest container ships ever built, this is a half-sized below-deck hull in one of the largest container ships in the world. The full column is double the size. And this is how big the cranes are that load the, all those containers on one gigantic ship. Plus, launching these behemoths in the water is no easy task. They use special ramps and systems to deploy the container ship. Chapter 1. Ever a lot. As you climb up from the deck, you realize that the ship is over 400 meters long and about 62 meters wide, which is about the length of four football fields laid end to end. As you walk into the first major area, the main deck stretches ahead of you almost endlessly. It's designed to carry 24,004 TEUs. That's 20 foot equivalent units, the standard size of a shipping container. Imagine towering walls of containers stacked up like colorful skyscrapers, secured by cutting-edge locking systems that automatically adjust tension to keep everything stable, even in wild seas. You make your way up toward the bridge, the control center of this behemoth. Here the tech feels straight out of a sci-fi movie. The navigation systems are super advanced, integrating AI-assisted routing, real-time weather tracking, and smart energy management. They can even auto-correct course and speed to minimize fuel consumption. That's no small thing because a ship of this size runs on ultra-efficient dual fuel engines designed to lower emissions compared to older ships. You can almost feel the thrum of those massive engines deep below your feet. Walking down into the crew quarters, you realize this isn't just a floating warehouse. It's a self-contained city. There are recreation rooms, a gym, even a cafeteria that looks more like a small food court. You can find something similar aboard the Marie Maersk. Before we move on, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video so far. Chapter 2 Marie Maersk The second you walk up the gangway and set foot on the deck of the Marie Maersk, you can feel the sheer size of this floating fortress. It's operated by Maersk Line, the giant Danish shipping company that's basically a titan in the global logistics world. As we walk along the expansive deck, which by the way stretches about 400 meters long, you notice stacks and stacks of containers piled up like Lego towers. The Marie Maersk can carry around 18,270 TEUs. That might not seem crazy compared to the newer 24,000 TEU giants, but when Marie Maersk was delivered back in 2013, it was absolutely groundbreaking. It's part of the famous Triple E class. That stands for Economy of Scale, Energy Efficiency, and Environmental Impact Improvement. A whole new breed of super efficient megaships at the time. We duck inside the bridge now, the control room of the ship. It's filled with state-of-the-art navigation systems, radar screens, automated tracking software, eco-speed calculators. Marie Maersk isn't just about brawn, it's packed with brains too. She's built to optimize every knot of speed to save fuel, reduce emissions, and avoid rough weather. There's even a computer that constantly monitors the hull stress and adjusts the ship's course slightly if needed to avoid damage. As we head down a few decks, you hear the faint hum of the massive two-stroke diesel engine that drives this monster forward. It's an ultra-long stroke engine designed to be super fuel efficient at slower speeds, what they call slow steaming. That was a big deal when Marie Maersk entered service because it helped the company cut costs and carbon emissions in one go, at a time when everyone was worried about fuel prices and regulations getting tougher. Moving towards living quarters, it actually feels like a small hotel. You've got a gym, a lounge, and even a little movie theater for the crew. Considering these sailors spend weeks at sea, 
Maersk made sure life on board isn't completely grim. You see posters about recycling and energy saving tips too. The company takes its environmental responsibility seriously. And Marie Maersk was designed from day one to reflect that. Chapter 3 OOCL Spain We're now aboard the OOCL Spain, one of the largest container ships in the world. As we walk up the gangway onto the deck, you immediately feel it. The scale of this ship is just staggering. It's part of the fleet operated by OOCL, which stands for the Orient Overseas Container Line, a major player in global shipping based out of Hong Kong. As we make our way through the vast open container deck, a seemingly endless grid of metal boxes stacked up like colorful Lego towers, it's almost dizzying to realize that the OOCL can carry a jaw-dropping 24,188 TEUs. That's slightly more than the ever a lot, giving her a place right at the top when it comes to container capacity. She's like a floating city of trade, moving goods from continent to continent without breaking a sweat. Now we head inside to the bridge, the ship's brain. This room is nothing short of futuristic. The technology is wild, from advanced radar and satellite communication systems to AI-driven navigation aids. The ship is fitted with the latest eco-friendly tech, too, designed to meet strict environmental regulations like IMO 2020. It's equipped with an energy-saving system that optimizes fuel consumption in real time, something that's crucial when you're hauling this much weight across oceans. Heading down to the engine control room, the heart of the ship hums with life. The OOCL Spain runs on a massive, ultra-efficient main engine, fine-tuned for lower emissions and higher performance. Every bolt, every panel seems purpose-built for both power and sustainability. The ship was delivered pretty recently, too. She was built and launched in early 2023, making her still a newcomer on the high seas, barely a couple years into her service. As we wander into the crew quarters, you can tell that even life aboard has been designed with modern sensibilities. Comfortable sleeping pods, entertainment rooms, even a small gym. Given how many weeks or months the crew spends at sea, OOCL has clearly invested in making sure it doesn't feel like a metal prison. Right now, if you were to pull up a real-time ship tracker, you'd probably find the OOCL Spain somewhere along major Asia-Europe routes, hitting massive ports like Rotterdam, Hamburg, or Shanghai. Her journeys are absolutely critical for keeping the gears of global commerce turning. Every corridor we walk through, every system we see, feels like it's part of a living machine, one that's changing the way goods move around the world. If you enjoyed this video so far, please don't forget to crush that subscribe button. Chapter 4 MSC Arena Stepping aboard the MSC Arena is like entering a floating city. As we walk across the deck, the first thing that hits you is the sheer scale of everything. This ship is absolutely massive, stretching about 400 meters in length and about 61 meters wide. She's part of the MSC Mediterranean Shipping Company fleet, which operates the largest number of container ships in the world. MSC Arena is relatively new to the seas, having just entered service in early 2023, so everything here still has that new ship gleam to it. This is near the bridge, high above the containers where the captain and officers control this giant. The bridge is packed with cutting edge tech. Think touchscreen navigational panels, dynamic positioning systems, real-time fuel monitoring, and satellite communication systems so powerful you could basically have a zoo meeting with someone on the moon. The technology here isn't just about steering, it's about optimizing everything from fuel consumption to cargo balancing, so the MSC Arena moves efficiently and sustainably across the oceans. Moving down the corridors, we pass crew quarters that are surprisingly comfortable. Life on board a ship like this is long haul, often weeks between ports, so MSC has invested in making sure the living spaces are more like cozy dorm rooms than barracks. There's even a gym and a lounge area with a big screen where the crew can watch movies, it's a small slice of normal life in the middle of the sea. Now, as we step onto the outer decks again, you can see why the MSC Arena is such a headline grabber. She can carry 24,346 TEUs, making her one of the absolute biggest container ships in existence. That's more cargo than some countries import in an entire year. 
The deck is a forest of colorful containers stacked high, and thanks to an automated system, each container's weight, position, and destination are tracked digitally in real time. No more relying solely on clipboards and radios, this ship thinks about its load. We head further towards the engine room, though you can barely hear it from up top thanks to the advanced noise insulation. The engine is a two-stroke monster, but here's the cool part. It's designed for low-speed, high-efficiency sailing, burning less fuel per container mile than older vessels. MSC Arena also features systems that can switch to alternative fuels like LNG if needed. A nod toward the growing green shipping movement. If you're standing on deck looking out over row after row of containers, you realize ships like the MSC Arena aren't just big, they're smart, efficient, and kind of beautiful in their own industrial way. Do you think we can build an even bigger ship than the MSC Arena in the future? Or is this the pinnacle of human engineering? Let us know in the comments below. If you like powerful, gigantic machines, you'll enjoy this video too.